Good morning, Yarna Bees. It's Sandy. Ugh, I'm looking like a hot mess today. Oops, you're a little crooked. Oh, well, it's, whoa! Whoa, world's tilting. Let's try that again. There we go. So, I'm on my way to my sister's house and we are going to go shoe shopping. Not for me, for my sister. She's having some real problems with her feet. Gee, must be in the family. Um, and I've got a pair of SAS shoes, S-A-S -S shoes. And they are specifically for people that are on their feet all the time, like waitresses, nurses, stuff like that. And my sister is definitely on her feet all the time. So um, they're very expensive shoes, but they are the best shoes ever. I've had mine for gosh, eight years, and they're leather, and they still look new, so, anyway, so come on with us, and let's see if we can get my sister on camera. Hi, Yarnabees. So me and my sister are out and we went and got her shoes and now we're gonna have some lunch. Guess what, Z? We're having pho. Just so you know, pho is one of my favorite foods as well. And here's my sister. Oh. <laughs> here's my sister. Hi. This is Charlene. She is nine years older than me. Thanks so. for that. <laughs> Sand. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what this stuff is. Okay, so we got our sprouts. We got sprouts and good stuff. And of course, she has to smell it. Is that cilantro? It's basil. What? <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't know. You could just eat. You don't eat that, do you? Really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. I mean, it's spaghetti sauce, maybe, but. No, you do. You, you put it in your soup. You can... Oh! I'm new at this stuff. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yes, you eat it. It tastes awful. <laughs> That's my sister. <laughs> don't start. I'll finish. So we just got our fried rolls and our fish sauce. Yay! <laughs> it, it's fried rolled and fish sauce. That's fish sauce. That's fi fish. Fish sauce. It's <laughs> fish. Okay, let's try this. Okay. Oh. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. <laughs> Not sure. Jury's out. Okay. <laughs> Weird stuff. Pork or something? Or? Um, yeah, it's like ground up pork and stuff like that. It's kind of like a a spring roll, you know, like a... Okay, I can do that. Okay. <laughs> so, funny story. What the heck year was it? 1989? When we went to Whistler? I knew you were going to figure that out. <laughs> Around there. 
Yeah, around 1989, my sister decides to go on a new adventure to Whistler, BC. And that never happens. And that never happens. <laughs> so we decide, she, she decides to pull me up and say, I don't want to go alone. So what does Sandy do? Being the good sister that she is, <laughs> she quits her job <laughs> and goes to Whistler with her sister. Just Absolutely. so she doesn't have to be alone. Well, <laughs> first day that we get there, we're starving and nothing's really open. I can't remember if it was a Sunday or what the heck it was, but there was nothing. We, we didn't know where anything was. So we went to a sushi place. We've never eaten sushi in our life. It was a Japanese village. Yeah, the Japanese village. Yeah. So we decide to go in there. <laughs> we have no idea what we're ordering. And um, we get these little bowls with, well, it's ebisunamono, right? And it's little bowls of rice noodle in cold vinegar sauce or vin a vinaigrette. A good memory. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get our miso soup and uh, stuff like that. And I think we got our like a bento box or something that had like teriyaki chicken and stuff in it because we had no idea. We figured we better be safe than sorry. But we <laughs> we tried to eat the Ebi Sunomono and we didn't know that we weren't supposed to drink the juice. <laughs> remember that. <laughs> and there was no utensils. No, there was didn't nothing. No nothing. utensils. No. <laughs> and the menu was totally Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> and you wanted to try? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And we saw people that were drinking out of bowls. Yeah. And I thought that it was, was really rude. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we, yeah, we, we were, we were kind of confused as to what to do because we had no, nothing to eat with it other than chopsticks and we'd never used chopsticks before. <laughs> and then we go to drink the, we're, we're like, how do we eat the soup? So we start, they said, no, like this. So we take our soup and we're like, <laughs> we're like, this is weird. And then we go to eat the Ebisunamono and we're getting the chopsticks and we're trying to eat the noodles and there's there's slippery noodles. And trying to eat slippery noodles with chopsticks is a feat in itself. So we're sitting there trying to eat it and then we're like, well, what do we do with the, the juice it's in? So we start to drink it and the waitress comes over and she's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and we're like, what? What are we doing? She says, no drink, no drink. And I'm like, oh, okay. So that was our first ever sushi type of thing. It was, it was, we laughed all the way through it because it was, we got more food on the table than we did in our mouth. <laughs> and we're about to do it again. We're gonna eat soup with chopsticks? Yeah, that's what you do. Who does that? Who does that? <laughs> Yeah. They don't give you one of those. Oh, hey, no, they do. That's a spoon. They give you one of those spoons. Oh, you don't have, do you have noodles in yours? Well, I ordered one, Todd. Oh, you've got noodles in yours too, so we're going to have to get you a fork. <laughs> so, anyways, so now we're eating pho, which is one of my all-time favorites. And I know Z loves pho too, so this is in for her birthday. Cheers. <laughs> um, and I'll show you what I got. So I got the weird stuff. Like, I don't think Z probably eats this stuff, but it's got tripe and, um, oh, whoa, steaming up. <laughs> Ooh, try that again. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's meatballs in here and, um, tendon and tripe and all this kind of stuff. Charlene got easier stuff. She got like wontons. Yeah, she went easy, wonton easy peasy. Wonton soup. Yeah, wonton soup. So, so there we go. Ooh. 
So now we're gonna have some lunch and uh, I don't know what we're doing after this. Not sure, but we'll figure it out. See you in a bit. Okay, so my sister figured out that she doesn't know how to twirl chopsticks. <laughs> Thank you. Take it up. You put, take it up. Put it in here, and you twirl it. You see, I'm twirling. But I find this works better. It goes faster. And then you take the spoon. You can't worry about what people are saying around you because you know you're never coming back here again. Hi everybody. Um, so I didn't get to put an ending to my video. <laughs> There's crochet bee. Um, it is now almost nine o'clock at night. We had a bit of an incident today. Um, <clears throat> I look like a hot mess right now. Um, my sister and I got back to our house and lo and behold, Bailey had gotten into something that she shouldn't have. She got into some chocolate. So I had to rush her to the vet and she had to have her stomach pumped. And uh, then I had to drive my sister all the way back to her place. Sorry, it's so dark in here. I... <laughs> um, so we've had a bit of a day. Bailey is fine. Uh, she's had a bit of a traumatic experience, but you know, that's what happens when you eat chocolate. So did yeah. you when you had to phone and tell me what happened. Yeah, I had to try, I had to phone George and tell him that I had to take Bailey to the vet. And of course he went completely ballistic. You know, thinking, well, number one, he said, you know, why did you leave the chocolate out? You know better than that. Yeah, well, I didn't expect Bailey to go digging around in my bag. But anyway, um, so she is fine. Bailey, hey, come here. No, Bailey, come here. Come on. Come say hi. Oh, she's laying on the floor and she's just... Just not herself. <laughs> She's not feeling very good at all. So they gave her some stuff to make her stomach feel a little bit better. And uh, yeah, so that was the end of our day. So anyways, I'm really tired and I'm going to have a drink and relax. And put an end to this day. So, <laughs> so. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye.